Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of Hearts of Iron 4 Manigans, the Ragnarok mod, and holy shit. We surrounded 400 divisions last episode, and then we broke in, we took Paris and other major cities in, well, France, and they are about to fall. Oh my god. And of course, you celebrated it by writing so many stories about the push forward of Germany. I love them. God damn it. Like, it took me a while to read through everything. I think I sat for 20 minutes or so to just read everything you wrote last episode. Awesome. I really, well, I really enjoy reading everything. And of course, your normal comments as well, just giving me feedback. Uh, yeah, that guy talking about surrounds. Yeah, that was really helpful. It really just reminded me that may may maybe I have some surround opportunities, and yeah, I kind of had that. <laughs> but uh, now I'm gonna do something weird. Um, thank you to thank you and hello to all my cowbell friends. Poke. And now we're gonna continue with the episode. So that makes no absolute sense for a couple people, except for a couple people. I think three people in Norway, one in Germany. Hi. Uh, all right, let's see. We are, yeah, going to focus mainly on breaking France this episode. It would just be so freaking great to do that. We would reduce our main front line massively since one well, last episode at least talked about that if we bring France down, I am going to make sure that these 24 divisions uh, that is trying to become 60 are going to be the only ones against Spain and Portugal. And hopefully that would be enough, but I don't know. We'll, I guess we'll basically see. Otherwise, we'll have to pull some divisions. I might pull specifically, like, I might take one division and just pull it to Spain. Not just use the entire Field Marshal Order mess we right now have to guard everything. But um, specifically take a group or group or two to defend it. Uh, let's just remove that. That's just stupid. The rest of the divisions go in right there. Take the rest. Uh, let's see. Any naval invasions yet? Nope. Uh, right, people have been asking, why don't they naval invade me at all right now? Uh, well, it's most likely because they have land access to pretty much everything. So, right now, it's not necessary for the AI to do any naval invasions. Sure, it's not perfect logic or sense, but if they become pressed enough, they will begin with the naval invasions, I think. Though, maybe they won't, because they will pretty much always have some kind of land access to me. Uh, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Uh, you guys are gonna do, let's see, only cities and ports, I think. No, wait. Who the hell cares? Only resistance. Uh, let's do ports as well, by the way. Uh, so, yeah, that's hopefully gonna defend everything right there, and that should be fine. Uh, we just need to make sure that we actually break, f well, break this up a tiny bit more, so we don't throw our men away by basically trying to attack their front lines with our horses that wouldn't be so great uh, that's a bit ahead of time nope 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 nothing right there ahead of time uh, let's get military police level 2 because well we are eventually gonna add that to our horses um, so they don't just horse around <laughs> uh, no I've been da doing that joke way too many times right now uh, someone said that I should go to f well change my economic law all I have and build my tungsten in well, or do the decision to do the tungsten in turning in. I've already done that. Um, yeah, there you see. I've already done the tungsten decision. We could actually do the chromium decision, though. We are using a tiny... Yeah, why the hell not? Yeah, let's actually do the chromium decision. Uh, that would boost us right there as well. So, yeah, sure. Why the hell not? It's, it's going to help us, so why not? Uh, we are trying to... Actually, what does require chromium right now? Well, right, right. We're trying to finish a couple of these heavy ships. Uh, why am I building so many convoys? It shouldn't be necessary. Since, well... <laughs> what are we going to use them for? I guess supply. But we'll pretty much have to push by land everywhere. Uh, anyway, uh, let's see. Is Are these the groups I want to build? Yeah, or cruisers destroyers that will build yes it is all of you are gonna just join up right there as soon as we possibly can and pretty much every single port that i'm gonna capture are just gonna keep pumping out these destroyers until i can build something better so uh, in future hopefully i will get some really high tech battleships and just have a billion or two billion well light light destroyer ships that are kind of focused on submarine warfare slash uh, slash anti-capital ships with their torpedoes. Just maybe eventually for the future. <laughs> I still don't call this a win fully. 
it it's looking really good though it's looking really good though but well things might break up as soon as like 19 well late 1939 actually and 40 41 when people are gonna start building tanks us is just getting stronger by every single second that goes yeah i, I i'm gonna have to start countering them as quickly as i frequently can though we haven't even begun on our tanks right now we haven't even begun our tanks right now let's begin our tanks right now <laughs> um, hmm no no let's just get our let's just get our medium tanks let's just get them they're gonna be well I'm they're not gonna be better but they're gonna be more numerous and right now I need numerous well a bit more than I need quality uh, like really in the beginning just more numbers more quick like or more <laughs> uh, Daniel you can't speak right now so what I need is of course numbers I don't need quality that much because every push we're doing right now as soon as we break them they, it's more important that we continue pushing rather than we well slowly but steadily take fewer losses and a few losses and why is this so freaking hard to say why am i completely stuck it's more important that we just break them and continue breaking them so they never get the chance to establish their front lines aka getting up a proper defense it's more important that we just keep pushing and ju just push in <laughs> I, d I don't know how to phrase this in another way uh yeah we, we just need to keep them on the run really like we're doing right now. We broke them there. We surrounded a bunch of divisions. And now with that momentum. Keep up the momentum. There we go. There we go. How hard can that be? We just need to keep up the momentum. God, Daniel. <laughs> Sometimes. I, I don't know. Sometimes I. I... Let, let's just ignore whatever whatever happened right there. And let's continue focus right, focusing right now on a small surround right there. And that one of my divisions were just way too brave right there. Just continuous pushed in and yeah they, they just pushed in and almost died uh fishy france or not taking uh, let's see how close are they to surrendering taking a fishy france right now would be pretty good since we would be keeping their navy and it would be nice if they could just start messing around and screw well we could always take fishy france and once they lose africa because i'm pretty goddamn sure they will lose africa we can do the decision to integrate Vichy France back into my land. Uh, I don't remember what that decision is called right now. but So they would temporarily exist and just spend their navy and air force for me. That sounds like a freaking awesome idea. So we're going to establish Vichy France right now. Come on. God. Wait, am I gonna get like a billion pop-ups now because they are joining the war or something like that? Oh shit. Maybe this was a bad idea. No, it was I think a pretty good one. But we're gonna have to clean up some stuff right there. So I'm gonna take my 24 division, my 24 really really good divisions. Uh clear that please. And assign right there. So you guys get down right there and well, focus on bringing down everything right there. Uh, you're also going to get your six divisions right there, even if they're not fully trained. But get to the front line and start hopefully pushing down right there. The entire French Navy is joining us. Very good. And we do have... Wait, do we have some French soldiers? Oh, yeah, we even do, do have that. Cool. So what I'm looking for is this one. Execute Case Anton. When they lose everything in Africa and just keeps their land in Europe, we can do this decision and just eat them up right there. So that would be pretty awesome. And what I'm gonna well, focus on doing really. And these lines, let's see. Yeah, there's also some issues right there. I'm gonna remove everything right there. I'm gonna take these and just pull down right here because that's the important part. Uh, hello. Why are there like 600 lines right there? Oh my god, you're such a mess right now. Whew. Maybe I shouldn't have actually established this. Uh, let's see. So what do I have to do right now? Um, I am going to... Okay, we're going to have to do something else. Uh, something else completely. Uh, cancel everything around here. So everyone is focused correctly. Then we have... No, wait. Is that only three lines? No, it looks like a hell of a lot more than that. 
you guys need to break that and break this. Free front have capitulated, awesome, but that's not the main issue right now. Are we cleaning this out or are we not? Uh, let's grab all of these 62 divisions right here. The garrison divisions. You just fill the rest of this. Thank you. Come on. Fill everything right there. This is going to be a, a whole bloody mess, isn't it? I think it is. Oh, there we go. They united this. Well, I can't do very much about it. Um, I could maybe have surrounded it properly, but for now, we're just going to have to accept it and just be fine with it since well I'm actually kind of fine with it we're gonna make that into surround later it's more important to clean up all of these ugly ass borders right now uh, you guys kill that off uh, all of these further divisions you're supposed to strategic redeploy please every single one get to the front line ASAP it's super super important and then we have this stuff yeah you're gonna unite right there and unite right there there we go now this is a proper one proper front line very good awesome do this and everyone, come on, wait, wait, you need to start moving first. Thank you. Now, everyone that is moving, strategic redeploy and gather up right here properly. There we go. A couple of my divisions are most definitely going to die right now in one way or another. But uh, that's just acceptable losses. We have reduced the front line quite massively here. So it should be all right. Then we have these further divisions who are trying to get down right here to eventually, well, stack against... Well, stack against Spain and Portugal, where I'm hopefully going to get all the tungsten I possibly might need. All of you guys, come on. Hurry the hell up. Get to the front line. It's super important. I don't have very much right now. It's only Spain, basically. And those are, well, Spain is just going to get completely obliterated by my, well, by my new divisions, which I was supposed to rename. No longer the best, because that's just a stupid name. Let's see. We were going to call them uh, Stormtroopers. But in German, I hope, and I'm not s doing something terrible right now. Strostropen, which I'm probably slaughtering that spelling. And of course, I didn't update the name because I haven't played Hoy before. And I don't know that you need to do stuff like that. Um, let's see. Troppen, Troppen. Yep. Yeah, looks good. And there we go. Yeah, that's actually something proper and more than the best. Ugh. I know we could have a theme song like, We're the best around, nothing's ever gonna keep us down. But um, having a proper name is better. Now, let's see. So, you are establishing yourself a tiny bit better right here. But it was just something I had to accept. We're gonna have this. Like, we can very clearly see where our next target is. This blob. <laughs> but... We're gonna see what happens after. Uh, we're still missing support equipment. We're missing anti-air guns, but it's generally fine. Otherwise, we are repairing a ton of stuff right now. Yeah, that's kind of what I want you to do right now. But it would also be very, very nice if we can actually start challenging their air force. That's gonna be a bit harder. Uh, how much artillery do we have right now? 1.2k? Yeah, 1.2k. So, I'm well, I'm not going to switch just yet either. I'm going to delay this. So, you guys march in right here into Spain. And if you're not, you always are. But yeah, be super aggressive. Just keep up the momentum right now. That's the lovely word. Momentum. Keep up the momentum and bring them down. France, use your entire navy. Just however you want to. Just keep harassing them, keep bringing them down, and you can close down this front line a tiny bit. Like, there's no sense of not cutting down the front line a tiny bit if I can. Uh, well, which is kind of the main issue right now. We most likely can't because, well, sure, I got a shorter front line, but so did they. Sure, they might transform some troops right here and be f not, they're not forced to transform, but, and they probably will. But, um, well, I shortened the front line, they did as well. So it's probably going to be a more, well, a harder time to break them right here. And the longer we wait, well, the better they are going to build up. So let's see, how strong is Soviet Union right now? Yeah, they're looking about as US. But yeah, the US is going to leap ahead of me. Damn it. Uh, let's see what we can do in construct engineering. Yeah, you're going to go back into construct, well, go back. I don't know if I've done it right now. But you're going to do construct repairing right now. Repair everything here, please. Uh, we are having everything right here on fully downed resistance. Yeah, very good. And the rest that is being bombed, hopefully I will be able to repair most of it. Especially 
all of this infrastructure right now. It's holding back resources that I probably don't need right now. But also, well, the repair speed and everything like that. So I'm just going to let it be right there and repair as much as you can. And you are not pushing as aggressively as I would have liked. So I'm going to force you to be more aggressive. That is a blitz order. Which means you're going to grab everything right there except the furthest top line. Let's see if I do like this. That's pretty much in tied to Spain. So let's be a bit more close with the border right there. That's the entirety of Spain. You're going to take it all and not care about anything else. Just go for it. That's what I wanted you to do. Just keep at it right now. It's super, super important that you just keep pushing. Don't let them unite. The longer we wait, the, well, the larger the chance of them actually getting enough troops right there over. So yeah, just keep pushing. Just keep pushing. I'm going to have no more personal control over where you go right here so well you don't any do anything e extremely stupid you're gonna do some stupid shit i know but i'm gonna keep a closer eye at you uh you're cleaning up this quite well well actually you are not but it should be fine all right anywhere that we're actually breaking right now no i think we're all right very good <sighs> And now, finally, we're getting our human wave offensive. That 5% recruit per population, more reinforce rate, and of course, zero, minus 0 0.4 combat width for all my infantry units. That's going to be such a lovely improvement right now. It's going to be really, really incredible, especially for these larger divisions. We're just going to get even more of them. Well, we're going to have even more room for them in every single battle. It's going to be such a ridiculous improvement for me. Uh, well, we're also going to build more of them, but uh, that's something else. Let's see, anything we can do right now? No, we're all good. Yeah, we're all good. Just keep at it. Uh, these divisions, all of you, strategic redeploy, get to the front line. God, that's such a good hotkey. <laughs> it's so freaking awesome. Uh, come on, guys, get to the front line. I think it... Oh, right, right, right. Since you're blitz sorting right now, you're constantly changing to be optimal and just push forward. So, yeah, well, if I just keep a close eye, it should be possible for me to, well, still strategically redeploy you to the front line. At least pretty well. The only problem is, as soon as you arrive at the front line, even if you have no organization, since it's blitz order, you're just going to push in anyway. <laughs> but, yeah, it goes quite quickly right here. And no... No, no, you're not gonna get anything right here. Really? Really? You're not gonna allow me to take that? Oh my god, wow, that sucks. Um, hopefully you're not gonna grab this entire coast. Well, the most important part is really is getting Portugal. Getting Portugal is the main reason I'm doing this. So I, I'm not too worried even if you grab some Spanish stuff and some Spanish coastline. Uh, I am gonna, of course, make sure that... Oh shit, if you actually get that land, we might not be able to do Case Anton. So maybe it's a very bad thing actually. Uh, let's double check the requirements for that. Uh, let's see. So. Are the country free? Yeah, it's currently ruling fascist. It's not subject to Germany. It's a subject to Germany. Uh, let's see. Does not control any French state in Northern Africa. And I'm not allowed to have any divisions right there. One of the following must be true. Italy owns Savoy. Well, I guess that's going to happen once we actually bring this down. Oh, one of the following. Oh, no. Nah, that, then that's fine. Yeah, as soon as we clean them up right here, then we're good. Uh, let's see. That's taking a bit longer than I expected. I really thought, well, Bishop France would just clean that out. I uh, guess, guess we'll have to do it my, ourselves later. But as we can see right here, our Spanish invasion is going A-OK. -okay. No real issues. They are gathering up some kind of defense right here in the west, but north, well, in the northern, in northern area, in the west, in the east, but in the northern areas, we're doing all fine. Uh, let's see. If we can get some stuff right there. Let's just get some air superiority. Let's get the decisive battle expert right there. Let's also get, yeah, you. And we are also going to get light. Or are we? Well, we can't pick anything right now, but maybe we shouldn't pick that. I'm thinking, what's the best defensive unit? I think it's better to have light, light aircraft rather than heavy. I was thinking maybe going down right here and just get the better, best heavy fighters. But eventually, we will probably have use for our jet fighters. So let's just go down right there and research the next fighters. 
<sighs> they're mainly going to be a primary. Well, they're primarily going to be a defensive force to just stop their bombers. But um, I guess we'll have to see for the future. There we go. Uh, now I'm going to set up a slight fighter production of 20 military factories. So slowly but steadily getting this up. Because if I look right here, they don't have that many fighters. Looking at, of course, England and US, they have a couple thousand each, but they have a couple thousand each. That's everything. And that's the major nations. So if we manage to bring that down, well, we probably only need like four or five thousand ourselves. And holy shit, that's a pretty large army right now trying to get in here. Uh, this was exactly what I was worried for. If they manage to get enough units right here, I won't be able to just rush them down i'll have to slowly but steadily push in and i don't want that and i want these divisions to be enough to bring you down so yeah we need to hurry the hell up right now that's a pretty goddamn large army take all of these divisions sack at the same time come on guys everyone right here hold attack there at the same time and that should hopefully deal enough damage nope nope not yet there we go all three of these divisions oh well not three divisions but three stacks Right now, maybe that would be enough, but you're gonna lose organization. That's the main issue, Reed. You don't have any organization because they keep telling them just to attack, attack, attack. So I might have to tell them to just chill a bit. Uh, actually, will that make any difference at all right now? Now when they are on blitz order? I don't know. I don't actually know. I think it might not, but they're not at least told to do the blitz order right now. Let's do this. Let's just change this to a normal order right now because it's starting to get a tiny bit scary. You have balance order on. Very good. And right here. Yeah, they are doing more and more bad stuff. Well, good for them, but bad for me. They're trying to get a proper defense up and rolling now. I don't like that at all. You guys moving in right there. I'm going to take you. Attack right here. See if we can break that. You are moving in right there. I didn't mean to. But yeah, I guess I can see how it would make sense. Uh, the rest of you, yes, strategic redeploy. Not you guys, of course, because you're moving in. And yeah, there we go. The first round on my divisions. I knew some of that stuff was going to happen. That's why I wanted to stop this. But well, a bit too late, apparently. A bit too late. So why I'm not killing those divisions is because I want them to, well, of course, be surrounded and kill off. So we're trying to break... Let's see, we're going to try to surround them in this province. So we're going to break here and here. Kill off those... Oh, actually, they can stay right there. It doesn't really matter. But yeah, push in right here, take that province, then push them out of here. Or we could try to just push them out right there. It doesn't really matter. We just need to make sure we actually surround them right there. So yeah, that should be all right. Cool. Uh, right here, moving in, saving that division. We are gathering up a proper front line. You move in right there. These three divisions move in right there. You guys continue moving forward. You break that division. You push in right there. And we are reaching Portuguese land right now. Awesome. Uh, these divisions, try to break that. That's going to be pretty goddamn hard. You have way too much stuff right now. Too bad. Uh, move up right there. Cut these, un cut these units off. Uh, let's see, okay, that's five divisions in total, that might be enough if I just attack at the same time with everyone, alright, that's good, you have all your stuff, you're well trained, you have a commander, and they are, well, unfortunately everyone in this line, but well, we can't do much about it, and it's probably these five divisions I can assign right there, so I'm completely fine with you making a separate order right there, go in right there, take this, you are going to go and take those, and you're going to go and take that. And we are going to reduce the front line quite a bit right there in the north as well. Awesome. Come on, you guys really need to fall. Uh, there we go. You have regained some organization. You can rejoin the attack. And this is just cleaning up so they won't actually regain. Come on, come on, come on. Just a couple more divisions right now. No, you're going to throw in yourself right there as everyone else. Well, with everyone else. Come on, a couple more divisions. Come on, come on. Uh, nope. You're going to attack right there. I don't want you to spread out too much. It can be annoying then. There we go. There we go. Now all of those divisions are surrounded. But they might actually liberate themselves very quickly. That I didn't want to. That I definitely don't want to. Um, you're pushing in there. You're breaking this. You're managing grabbing this. Oh, you actually pushed back because of both from the sea. Oh, nope, nope, nope. You're not going to grab that one. We should have that secured down. 
And let's see, how's this going? You are still very much just holding. Good, awesome, I don't have to care about that. I just focus right here on what's important. Uh, well, what's important is that these guys are very, very slow right now. Come on, just move in right there, take that down. Yeah, that should be all right. Oh my god, wow, they're counterattacking so quickly, I can't do anything about it. Uh, please attack them at the same time. Maybe that would be enough then. Come on, it doesn't really matter the rest of Spain. Uh, actually, you don't have very much right now. Let's have those guys push now, but they're gonna push balanced. And we see another launch sack right there at that river, but it should be all right. All of these guys pushing right there. You guys are all trying at least to move in right here. But you just keep to... Well, they seem to keep reinforcing this. I don't like that. I don't like that. And you guys are not supposed to break them right now. You're not supposed to hold them off. But right now you are breaking. Uh, you move in right there as well. These guys attack right there and delay them a bit. How how quickly can you re arrive right here? 22 hours. And these guys moving in like... Okay, you are going to have to attack some people right there. Should be all right though. And as soon as you, as you arrive right there. Arrive, attack right there. Or at least try to. Yeah, that's much better. And now, please, these guys join in right there. That will, I think, finally wipe them out. Uh, we have two divisions that are trying to break this northern part. That's also all right. And here is a prime opportunity to surround this. So they are starting to assign quite a bit more men right there. But if we manage to sneak by and grab this as a nice surround, that could, well, solve a lot of my problems. And there we go. Finally wiping out that stack in the north. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, all right. It doesn't feel like 30 divisions, oh my, well, the best of the best is enough. But I feel like the main issue right now is they're not quick enough. They're not quick enough, they're not dealing enough firepower. We have 2.5k extra artillery, I think it's time to me to upgrade that, so we're getting 20 per day. But we also require... No, wait, 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 we don't require more tungsten just now, soon. Uh, is it the next level that just require more tungsten? No! You only require more steel. Why, why am I thinking you require more tungsten? Is it tanks? That's two. That's two. That's no. But it's the tanks that require two. That was the one thing I was looking for. <laughs> so yeah, we're hopefully going to time that quite well. Our conquering of Portugal, gaining all their tungsten together with actually getting tank and tank tech rolling up. Uh, we're probably going to need quite many more uh, garrison division. So let's get another 30. And deploy them up here. Let's see, right there. Awesome. And of course, times one. We're not going to make that mistake. Uh, breaking this. F come on. Come on. Before they manage to surround. There we go. So we didn't get all of them, of course. But we got a sizable amount. 20 of them. Awesome. Uh, please attack right here in the northern province. So we actually push them out of the river. Well, push them out from the port. And then kill them off again. We are currently at 1.8 versus 32 million. Very, very awesome. And here we seem to be breaking them on every single front. Very nice. How close are Sp is Spain to surrendering? Uh, how close is Vichy France to surrendering? Yeah, that doesn't look very good. But I think we are safe. Yeah, I think we're safe. Vichy France are losing everything right here. So everything right there is going according to plan. You guys are gonna move in. Oh my god, it's really? Seven divisions signed right there? No, 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 no. All of you get over right there. Come on. Uh, okay, I might need. A couple more divisions just break that quickly, but most of you, come on. Seven divisions for two provinces? No, 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 no. It was just these five divisions assigned to the two front. Yeah, that's not acceptable. Come on, there we go. Killed off. Nice and easy. And now these two guys can actually join up the main front line, please. Thank you, and straight away deploy. No, wow, you already were. Cool. Uh, let's see. So, you guys... Why about how about everyone just hold your ground right now and everyone strategically deploy? Thank you. And no, I press control H, which was on a sign everywhere, not control B. There we go. <laughs> that would have been a, such a big failure. Every single one of my divisions would probably have been surrounded one way or another. Uh, please push in right there. And where is your tungsten? Right there. Is that no, 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 wait. Both of those states have it. Yeah, very nice. So where do we need to go in? We probably need to go in and take both of those cities. Yeah. So let's do it. Let's go in and take both those cities. 
No more waiting, no more delay. Get it, go in there and grab the tungsten. It's needed for the German war machine. Right here, we're still not doing anything special, so we're just delaying on that. Here, the tanks are getting up and rolling. Can we get mechanized? 200 days, that's good enough. God, we're gonna have such a good... Uh, well, such good tank division. It's gonna wipe out this and wipe out this. Well, actually, no. Maybe my, my storm... My... My... Damn it. My Strostruppen divisions are gonna... Yeah, my probably they are gonna wipe out both of those. I don't know. Both of, the, both of those bulbs, <laughs> both of those bulbs of troops that just generally increase my front line by, I don't know how many provinces. It's like 10 right there when it could have been 1, 2, 3, 4. It, it's just a massive extra area. We are really need to bring it down. It's just important that we finish this off. And with that, hopefully, if they don't start to naval invade me right there, close off one front. Sure, even if they naval evade me, they might not do it with very good divisions, and my dear little garrison slash cavalry division might be enough to hold them off, but if it isn't, if it is, well, we'll see once they start naval evading me. And I please need to do those researches as quickly as I possibly can. Let's see. Uh, let's get this one. More defense, always good. These further divisions are enough to bring this down, I think. <sighs> that's that's also a big relief right now, so we don't have to assign any more divisions there. You're cleaning up the lost areas there for Fischer France. You have lost a sizable stack of your navy, but you also have a sizable stack left. Good. And Republic of Spain has kept capitulated. Awesome. You're gonna wipe out the lost areas right here. We get a nice... Well, we get a couple of nice rounds just for free right there. Uh, push in right there, push in right there, you push in right there. You're gonna keep them busy so they can't escape. You, both of you move in right there and we're gonna take let's see these divisions and you push down right there and all of you strat control B and strategically deploy down there very very important that you do that uh, stay right here uh, actually no not stay right here but actually push in and holy shit that's a large army uh, we're gonna have to deal with that one as well manually that is Hopefully getting a proper surround that uh, proper surround this time, and I feel very very stressed for some reason. I don't know why Huh My current BPM is on 110. I don't know why I guess this has been a slightly exciting <laughs> Exciting episode and I've lost my train of thought so many times. I really need to sleep Guys sleep. It's it's good for you I stayed up way too late yesterday. God damn it. Uh, let's see. You're going to take that down. We are going to wipe this out. Wow. Really? Really? At a port? Oh god. We have to fix that as well. That could be something very dangerous. But I think we'll be alright. This front line is still very much holding. Full Gibraltar. Awesome. We have 1.8 million losses versus their 33. So they haven't taken actually a lot from me wiping out these armies here. So that's that that was not what I wanted to see. I wanted to see like one or two more million more losses right there. But nope, nothing right there. Let's see. We're gonna cover all of these regions ASAP. You'd require 56 right now. Uh, we're deploying 30 more. Sure, you're over your limit, but as you might know, I don't really care about it once it's garrison divisions. Either they're going to be good enough to hold this, or we're going to need proper divisions. So, basically, either they're attacking with so bad divisions, they're good enough to hold that off, or they're going to attack me with proper divisions, which means I need proper divisions to properly hold that off. <laughs> and with a commander that is doing something or not doing anything at all, it's not going to matter. These guys are going to go in right here. Oh, shit. No, you're not going to retake Gibraltar. I refuse. You're going to go in like this. That should be good enough. Oh god, that's gonna be close. That's gonna be very, very close. Come on, guys, strategy redeploy. Uh, oh, actually, no. Don't strategy redeploy and actually move in right there. These guys kill that unit off. You're just dragging out my front line here as well. God, I, I like this mod have really just made me realize that a lot of hoy is just front line management and finding the best ways to attack their provinces. Well, of course, of course, that's why uh, it's not really what I'm trying to see, but say, but you need to look at 
I guess that's one of the reasons I don't tire of a hobby. Many people have said, like, do I burn out? Do I get ever, ever tired of this? Yes, of course I do. Since I want well, right now actually work with it every single day and I play it a lot. But it's still something new and fresh every time because no games are ever the same really. Ugh. And it's really just these mods and these campaigns that make me realize that. Hmm, let's see, what else can we do right now? Should we do some large scale action here? No, 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 as a, yeah. As I said it, sure we reduced our front line, but we also reduced theirs. Oh, this is actually looking a slight bit weak. But uh, yeah, they have really reinforced this entire front line here. They even started building a couple forts, I think. Or maybe that's just the standard Polish ones. It might actually be that. But yeah, they have also regrouped and reshuffled their troops so they have much stronger defense here in the east. While we're just breaking the last parts of the west here. Cool. Go in, take Malaga. And these, their garrison divisions. Yeah, you're always supposed to cover it. Let's not forget Gibraltar right there. I do it so many times. And let's even cover... Well, the last province right here. Uh, wait just a minute. You were told to cover this. No, you're not going to cover that place or this. No, wait. that No, not that one either. Because you're just going to throw yourself into the front lines dying. And I don't want that. I can't afford that. Let's see. What, you're wiping out the last areas right here. Yeah, it doesn't really matter if you do a surround or not. I, I'm pretty fine with whatever right now. Just wipe this out so I don't have to care about this front line. Then I can finally take those units and turn them around. And oh my god, I got scared shit for a second right there. I looked at... I have two timers in the bottom right of all my OBS. One that is for live stream and one that is for just recording. And I looked at one live stream and it said zero, 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 zero. Like I've never pressed the button. <laughs> oh god, but... I also now realize that I've already pulled over this video and it's already going to be pretty goddamn late. But thank you guys for watching for this episode. Hopefully you enjoyed it and I didn't, well, babble around too much. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed it. Like, comment, subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. And bye.